What's going on everyone? Today I'm at the depot and we're here because I'm tired of my pet peeve of seeing people installing wooden speaker rings into their doors. It just happens to be a rainy day and rain will absolutely get in your doors. I don't care, even if you live in a dry climate, you probably wash your car so that's water on your car and that can absolutely, if you're using MDF or anything else, that can absolutely degrade the speaker rings. So let's go into Home Depot and you guys can go to any hardware store. Everyone is carrying this stuff now. I'm gonna show you guys something that you can get that's plastic that we can make speaker rings out of. So the material that we're gonna be looking for is called cellular PVC. Hardware stores are starting to carry this product as an alternative to traditional wooden molding. It comes in all shapes and sizes and is marketed as a better solution than wood because of its weatherproof properties. I've been making speaker rings out of ABS and HDPE for the last few years, but since these products are not always available locally, I wanted to give you guys another good choice. So I got my PVC. They'll cut it in half for you too. So if you have a smaller vehicle, there's no excuse. You can get it cut down and that will fit in your car, no problem. It's raining right now. I don't even care. It doesn't even matter. Weatherproof. So let's start making the speaker rings and I want to talk to you guys about using this material. First off, I was really surprised how easily a pencil will write on the plastic material. It's actually much like wood. At my jigsaw cutting station, I used a special jigsaw blade that gives the best results for cutting PVC. This blade is linked down in the video description. Now you could use a jigsaw to carefully cut out your rings, but I wanted to see how well this material cuts on the router. I've got a router set up with a spiral trim bit. I carefully adjust the perfect circle router jig to cut the rings starting with the outside diameter. I was pretty impressed with how easily the bit actually cut through the material. I want to say that it's almost easier than cutting wood. I followed up with cutting the inside diameter of the rings. After vacuuming the bits of plastic away, I was able to pry the rings away from the sacrificial board and take a look at them. The PVC cut surprisingly well. The finish was very accurate and the rings were nice and strong. The best part is, they are completely waterproof. Now I don't have to worry about them being inside of a vehicle door and degrading over time. Now I also wanted to check how well I could edge profile this material, so I ran it through a roundover bit. Again, with excellent results. The material machines very nicely. Finally, I wanted to see how well a screw would bite into the material, so I screwed the material to some wood again with satisfactory results. I was able to drive this screw well into the surface of the material without any problems. So the next time you guys are making some custom speaker rings or speaker adapters, be sure to consider using cellular PVC. Now I do wanna note that I still think HDPE and ABS are superior materials, but those aren't always available through your local hardware store. So I wanted to give you guys something that's easy to find and easy to use. Now, if you guys would like to see more of the in-depth process for how to make custom speaker rings, I have a video that covers that in detail that I'll link over here. In that video, I actually talk about a special material that you can use in order to get more mid-bass out of your vehicle. So be sure to check that out. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I actually upload new videos every Monday, so be sure to subscribe. I think that together we can learn how to master car audio and I wanna help you learn how to design, build, and install your dream car audio system. A special thanks goes out to Brian, Emmanuel, Ali, EJ, Rory, Eddie, Truman, and Jerry, along with the rest of the Patreon support team. These guys make small donations per video, which allows me to buy the materials I need to make these videos. Stuff like the cellular PVC, as well as the special jigsaw blade. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to design, build, and install.